Hello, my name's Russ, I'm a writer and on the 24th of June it's National Writing Day. Now there's an initiative going around where you've got to write a 24 word story in 7 minutes and it's called the 24-7 Challenge. I'm going to offer you a little, uh, a little method to, to get your story down if you're stuck for ideas. And it's what I like to call um, the word remix method. And what you basically do, you take another writer's work and you shamelessly steal things from it in order to choose your 24 words for your story. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a book at random off my bookcase over here. <clears throat> this is the book I've come up with, Weirdo by Cathy Unsworth very good book and I'm going to choose 20 I'm going to choose 22 words from here completely at random because all the stories are going to start with the same two words I'm going to start with one day that's just to kick you off so we're going to choose 22 words from Kathy Unsworth's weirdo so the first word at random is 60s that's my first word 60s second word tattoo tattoo third word turnstiles fourth word crackle fifth word is soft sixth word Last. Seventh word is mind. Eighth, hands. Sample. Strange. Ten words in, bear with. Eleventh word, fierce. It's a good word, isn't it? Fierce. Twelfth word, feeling. Graveyard. Eyes. Much. I'm just choosing the first word that springs out to me after flicking to a page at random. Wait, wait, as in to wait for something, not lifting weights. Seventeenth word, legal. Just a few more to go. Eighteenth word, strangle. That's a good word, isn't it? Strangle. Nineteenth word, face. Nearly there. Twenty words, polish. 21, pace, and 22, finger. Right, so, how do we turn these words into a story in under seven minutes? Well, we're halfway through, so we've got another three and a half minutes to go. So here we go, one day, and we've got 60s tattoo, turnstile, crackle, soft last, mind, hand, sample, strange, Fierce feeling, graveyard eyes, much weight, uh, what does that say? Legal, strangle, face, polish, pace, finger. Right. <clears throat> One day in the 60s, you don't have to use all these words, and of course you can use other words like in, at, with, the, you know, all the little joining words. I'm sure there's a... a a technical name for him, but I can't bring it to mind. Right, here we go. One day in the 60s, a man with a tattooed finger went through the turnstiles at a football match. I've just got that from... Picking some of the words out at random that I've nicked out of Cathy Unsworth's book. So, 
One day in the 60s, a man with a tattooed finger went through the turnstiles at a football match. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Three more words. He was ejected. There you go. One day in the 60s, a man with a tattooed finger went through the turnstiles at a football match. He was ejected. That's my story. Uh, and that took just under five and a half minutes. Right, brilliant. So that's all you've got to do. you just got to nick all the words from somebody else's book, jumble them up and take the, what, the best bits that you think fit. Uh, and once you've done all that, there's a certain few things you've got to do. You've got to um, go on social media, and take a photo of, you, of your work, put it up on social media uh, and tag it with 24-7 challenge, hashtag 24-7 challenge, uh, at writing day or write day and tag three of your mates uh, and if anyone asks you how you how you did it don't tell them you stole it because uh, you might get into copyright bother and don't tell them i told you to do it either it's just between you and me all right take care